Hello everybody, now today we will start with a new chapter in maths for standard 9th ICSE that is trigonometrical ratios. Uh, trigonometry is a complete branch of mathematics and it's a very 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 important kind of uh, topic. In your syllabus you have got two uh, uh, two chapters based on trigonometry the first one being trigonometrical ratios and the second one being trigonometrical uh, you know the standard angles okay so the first one is the basics so you need to understand the first one properly clearly so that you can go ahead to the second one because if you do not understand the first chapter then understanding the second chapter is going to be very 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 difficult so that's why you have to go step by step so the first thing what we'll be doing today is the trigonometrical ratios now trigonometry is a very very important kind of a topic because this topic is used mainly by the civil engineers a lot to find out the distance between places where you can only view them and you cannot well, like for example, if you are standing in front of a big mountain and you want to find out the height of the mountain, so you can find that out by just knowing that at what angle we are viewing the top of the mountain. If you know the angle at which you are viewing, uh, viewing the top of the mountain and how far you are from the uh, uh, base of the mountain, then you can find out the height of the mountain by just trigonometry. So trigonometry helps you to find out the heights and distances between places uh, without actually measuring them okay it's only by calculation you can get that through we, we need not do actual measurements of the thing so that's how the trigonometry is very useful and advantageous uh, so as the name suggests trigonometrical ratios so they are basically ratios and these ratios are given names okay they are given specific names like sine cosine tangent tan okay so it is sine cos tan uska reciprocal cosec sec and cota cot so these are the ratios which we are going to talk about now before we do that thing we need to understand one basic fundamental is that trigonometry is applicable only on right angled triangles okay trigonometry is applicable only if the triangle which is there is a right angle triangle if the triangle is not a right angle then i cannot apply any trigonometrical ratios to the triangle to the triangle i will need to produce one 90 degree angle in between and then only i can use it so it very important is that there has to be a right angle triangle to uh, have the trigonometry possible so when we see a right angle triangle, so we, we see that suppose I take this as a right angle triangle and this triangle over here is triangle A, B, C which is 90 degrees at B. Accordingly, the side opposite to the 90 degree is the hypotenuse. Okay, this is the hypotenuse and now we see that there are two angles other than 90 degrees. The first angle over here is going to be angle theta and you can call this one as we can take 90 minus theta also because 90 plus theta plus 180 will be given 90 minus theta or else just not to give any confusion over here we will not take this angle right now okay we will not take this angle right now because it's not required to understand it in that way but Later on, I'll tell you that if it's clear, it can So, uh, we'll take it in the next step. So, first step is, I've got this angle theta. Now, the triangle ABC has got three sides, out of which the side opposite to B is hypotenuse. I will call the side opposite to angle theta as the opposite side and the side next to theta as the adjacent side okay so that's why i have got over here that ab is the opposite side bc is the adjacent side 
and AC is the hypotenuse of this particular triangle. So we are given the names to all the three different sides of our triangle, which is a right angle triangle. So if I see these things, then I know that what are the different ratios which could be made out of this? The ratio which I can have is like this upon this, this upon this, this upon this, or reciprocal of this. So I can have three ratios. The first one ratio will be given as opposite upon hypotenuse. The second would be adjacent upon hypotenuse. And the third will be opposite upon adjacent. So these are the three ratios. Automatically I can have the reciprocal of them also. The reciprocal will be what? This will be reciprocal will be hypotenuse upon opposite. This would be hypotenuse upon adjacent. And this could be adjacent upon opposite. So these are the reciprocal. So this is a reciprocal. Now, these three, we'll talk about these ones first, not the reciprocal ones, but these ones, opposite upon hypotenuse, adjacent upon hypotenuse, and opposite upon adjacent are given special names. Okay? The three ones, opposite upon hypotenuse, adjacent upon hypotenuse, and opposite upon adjacent are given special names. And that name is based on the angle theta wires. Hence, we have the first one as sine theta. Okay, it's not sin, it's sine. And the full form is S-I-N-E. It's sine theta. This one is cos theta. Theta is just an angle. Okay, theta ke pahle x liya, a liya, b liya, to bhi chaliya. Like, let's take it this way. Main isko yaha pe kar deta angle x. So I can write over here sin x, here is cos x. So theta is just like, okay, a particular sin cos ke saath mein connection ja jata hai, ke normally hum log sab kuch x lete hai, uske badde angle mein hum log theta lete hai, that's it. So it is just a Greek alphabet, so it doesn't make any sense ke aray theta kya hai, nee, nee, darne ka zarun dee, theta is just a variable used for this particular triangle, okay, so uh, we will not take theta at all, so we will not get confused about this part. So we can have it X, we can have it as capital A, capital C. I can have this as C also, where this is sin C and cos C. Yeah, you can have it that way also. But anyway, so right now, so you will not worry about theta. You will not worry about theta, you will take it as any variable that is the angle. This is the angle X, okay. And this one is called, so this one, the, the full form is cosine. It is cosine is the full form of this thing. And then this one is tan x, which is nothing but tangent. Okay, that is the full form is tangent. So we see that the three ratios, the three ratios which are going to be there in the main three ratio, because we to to reciprocal. So reciprocal ko filhal hum log hat nahi lagate. We'll just see about this one. So the three ratios are sine cos and ten okay sin x is opposite upon hypotenuse cos x is adjacent upon hypotenuse and tan x is opposite upon adjacent so these are the three main important ratios in case of trigonometry okay sin x is opposite upon hypotenuse cos x is adjacent upon hypotenuse and tan x is opposite upon adjacent okay so this is the basic three ratios now this is the most important thing to learn okay in the complete trigonometry the subse pehle or the most important to learn is these three ratios sine cos and tan opposite upon hypotenuse adjacent upon hypotenuse opposite upon adjacent और इसको याद रखने के लिए हमारे पास एक बहुत सुंदर सा एक नाम है व्हाट इज दैट द नेम इज ओशा छोटा ओके द नेम इज ओशा छोटा क्वाइट फनी राइट ओशा छोटा व्हाट इज ओशा छोटा लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ओशा छोटा 
Osha Jota is very simple. It is sine is opposite upon hypotenuse. Sine S is opposite upon hypotenuse. That is OSH. Cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse. And ACH. ACH. OSH. ACH. Or chota ka TA. Tan is equal to opposite upon adjacent. So according to here, tan is opposite upon adjacent. So we have this as osha chota as the complete detailed three ratios. If you remember osha chota, automatically tino ke tino ratios by heart ho gaye. Kya hai rat karna hai? Osha chota. O S H A C H O T A Chota to uh, Osha Chota Osha Chota means sign is opposite to upon hypotenuse, cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse, and tan is opposite upon adjacent. So these are the three main ratios of the trigonometry. Okay, Osha Chota Yat Karliya Yane Apna 50% of the work of trigonometry is done. Once you remember Osha Chota, automatically 50% sums to je apne aap aayenge. Okay, there is no issues at all because you are just going to replace the values there. Right? So this is the first part. Now we see further that if I got this as the uh, ratios, then what about the reciprocals? So the reciprocal is this way that Reciprocal of sine is cosec. Okay. Reciprocal of cos is sec. And reciprocal of tan is cot. So accordingly, this is cosec. Cosec a full form ke cosecant. Okay. Cosecant. This is secant. And this is cotangent. Okay, we have got secant, cosecant, secant and cotangent. Now here, again we have got something easy to remember. Tan ka to cot, easy to remember, tangent, cotangent. They are just related to each other. Tangent, cotangent. Tangent is opposite of adjacent. So cotangent is adjacent of opposite, reciprocal of that. Yaha pe kaise hai, jo ji sign S se chalu hua, to uska reciprocal C se chalu hota. और ये C से चालू हुआ तो उसका रेसिप्रोकल S से चालू होता है, ओके? इसलिए साइन का रेसिप्रोकल इस कोसेक एंड सेक इस डी रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ कोस, अंडरस्टूड? सो यू सी दैट कोसेक X इज इक्वल्स टू हाइपोटेनस अपॉन ऑपोजिट, सेक X इज हाइपोटेनस upon adjacent and cot x is adjacent upon opposite got it you need not learn these part at all because this is just very easy to understand if you remember osha jota then you just need to remember that agar ye c s hai to next wala c se chalu hone wala hai that is cosec cosec will be h upon a o and this will be again it will be sec will be h upon a and this will be T, that is cot, cot, cot will be adjacent upon opposite. So, these are the reciprocal ratios. So, accordingly, we have got six ratios in trigonometry. The six ratios of trigonometry are sin x is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse. Uska reciprocal is cosec x, which is hypotenuse upon opposite. Cos x is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Uska reciprocal is sec x is equal to hypotenuse upon adjacent. Tan x is equal to opposite upon adjacent, so cot x is equal to adjacent upon opposite. So this gives us the six different ratios of trigonometry. Okay, these are the six ratios of trigonometry. Is it clear? Right? Now we move ahead and understand something further. So we see here that over here in this sum, in this particular thing, we say that sine x is equal to 
opposite that is AB upon B AC and cosec X is equals to AC upon AB right cos X is equals to BC upon AC and sec X is equals to AC upon BC tan X is equals to AB upon BC and cot X is equals to BC upon AB okay so of course we are not going to write every time hypotenuse opposite we will be writing the names of the sides so according to that X ka opposite is AB hypotenuse is AC so we reciprocal cos is adjacent is BC upon hypotenuse AC and tan is opposite is AB adjacent is BC got it now the same one if I consider now of course this says something which you need to write down in your notebook once and for all completely so that uh, you are not getting confused later on ye osha chota aur ye bohat 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 important hai front page of your trigonometric the front page hai uske andar ye draw bhi kar lo ye pura ka pura likh do in fact what you can do is that you can write this and write these separately yani cos x is equal to hyper aisa ulta likh do wohi line mein likhe to bhi chalega but not like what i have written yahan pe ye aur uska yahan pe aisa mat karo uske badle isko bhi yahan pe fit kar do okay so it will be sin x opposite hyper and then you write over here arrow karke cos x is equal to hyper tan opposite और उसका नाम भी लिख देना ओके सो यू आई वांट यू टू मेक दिस पेज सच अ वे दैट ट्रिग्नोमेट्री का तुम लोग को रिवाइज करना है वो पेज रेफर कर लिया एंड यू आर गेटिंग अ रिवाइज सो दैट इज व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओवर योर सो या सो नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सो इफ यू सी फर्दर नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग व्हाट वी कैन सी इज सपोज this is when i'm taking this as x now suppose i take this as y and now i want to find out all the ratios all these ratios for y what will happen so automatically for y this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side got it now the opposite is this one adjacent is this one see in the red one Opposite and adjacent over here, but green one, the opposite is here and y is one. So accordingly, my sine y will be equal to opposite is BC upon AC. Cos y will be equal to AB upon AC, and tan y will be equal to ABC upon AB. Okay, so you can see that. these ones will be different if i take the angle as a next one if i take this angle then it is a force this upon this and over here but if i take this angle then automatically the ratio will be here see it is still opposite y ka opposite hi hai ye aur ye hypotenuse hi hai ye adjacent hi hai but now because of the change in the angle the name of the side has changed so accordingly we have over here we have cosec Sec y is equals to AC upon BC. Sec y is equals to AC upon AB, and cot y is equals to AB upon BC. Right. So we have this thing over here that with the change in the angle, the ratio will automatically be changed. The values of the ratio is going to change. because with the change in the ratio opposite is no longer opposite and adjacent is no longer adjacent now in case of the uh, in case of textbook they are not taking or maybe in school also they are not taking opposite and the uh, yeah adjacent sides instead of that they take the base and the height which i sometimes feel it confusing because when the triangle now if in this case i know that this is the height and this is the base i can easily understand this way this is the height and this is the base and accordingly i can have the formula for sin cos and tan but suppose the triangle is like this and this is 90 degrees then what is the base and what is the so of course the base is over here the base is hypotenuse so of course you cannot have that one over there so what will happen you will always get confused ki kisko kya lo 
okay whether i take this as the way uh, this as the uh, uh, this one height one this is this the height or this is the base so we don't know because this is the hypotenuse so this cannot be the base so either this one is the base or this one is the so uske badle agar maine ye angle liya hai angle x to automatically this becomes the opposite side rather than taking that acha wo udhar ke samne hai to wo height ho gaya to why unnecessarily why make that particular confusion and plus osha chota formation bhi bahut acha pad raha hai because osha chota is very well understood also easy to remember also so opposite and adjacent are more appropriate uh, according to me and mind well when you are writing the answer you are going to write the answer this way only so whether tune opposite use kiya gaya adjacent use kiya ya kya liya it is not going to make any difference at all because the answer is still going to remain the same whether you remembered it as an opposite side or you remembered it as a height or whether you meant it as a base or whether you remembered it as a adjacent side it doesn't make any difference for you important thing is to know that what the sign will be what ratio so accordingly i consider k it is better to use opposite and adjacent rather than using the perpendicular sides ka base and height i would not consider that one instead of that i will take uh, to like to do that way okay so this is uh, about the example so as i told you you, uh, you i will be using in my uh, this one i in, in my class i will be using only opposite and adjacent so that is easier to understand rather than making it like the perpendicular sides ke liye base and height okay right so this is about sin and uh, sin y and cos y so you can see you understood this concept properly that sin is osha chota sin is opposite upon hypotenuse cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse and tan is opposite upon adjacent so that's one part the second part what we see over here is suppose i divide this by this okay i am just going to do this way that i am going to divide so uh, i am going to do this and divide this two so automatically this two gets divided accordingly this and this will get cancelled so it will be bc upon ab Same thing over here. If I divide this upon this, it is going to AC is going to cancel, so it will be AB upon AC. That's why I get a new formula that sin, uh, sorry, tan theta tan x is equals to sin x upon cos x. Okay, that is one additional information I can get over here, and also cot x is equals to cos x upon sin x. So this is. the new thing what you are having and of course we i just forgot to tell you one more thing and that is always going to be there that sin or uh, we can see over here we can take it this way cosec x is equals to 1 upon sin x uh sec x is equals to 1 upon cos x and cot x is equals to 1 upon tan x of course this is because they are the reciprocal so that's the thing so nothing so difficult to understand it's already there we already knew it but only thing is that writing it in a form of a formula because we are writing down the formulas right now so i think that you should also write down this thing that cosec x is 1 upon sin x even the reciprocal is true sin x is 1 upon cosec x cos x is 1 upon sec x it's also true but uh, not to confuse yourself you can remember one of them then automatically other is understood so tan x is equal to sin x upon cos x or cot x is equal to cos x upon sin x is something which is another thing which is uh, helpful or here also we can say sin x into cos x is equal to 1 okay so you can have it as sin x into cos x is equal to 1 here here cos uh, sec x into cos cos x is equal to 1 and cot x into tan x is equal to 1 all these are same thing it's the same thing just writing in a different form so nothing important as such or nothing new to learn right so you see over here that the triangle is given to you according to the triangle you will be having depending upon what angle you are taking you will be having the uh, ratios so there could be six ratios with respect to x and there will be six ratios with respect to y and the relation between the ratios will always be this way that uh, the one is reciprocal of the other or you can say the sin into cosec is 1 and similarly tan x is equal to sin x upon cos x and cot x is equal to cos x upon sin x so these are the uh, about the ratios uh, the next is 
uh, we are going to have some more important identities that is related to the square ratios. We are talking about the uh, squares now. So let's see the square ratios or the important identities. There are three identities. So let's go through those. So if I see that if this is my triangle, this is the right angle triangle and this is the angle X over here, this is 90 degree, this is A, B and C. So I know over here that by Pythagoras theorem, AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square, this is by PT. Okay, by Pythagoras theorem we know that AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Now suppose I take over here that uh, I am dividing this whole thing by the hypotenuse. So it is over here upon AC square. This is upon AC square, upon AC square. So what is this? This is nothing but AB upon AC, AB upon AC, opposite upon AC, that is hypotenuse. So this is nothing but sine X, the whole square, plus BC upon AC, that is cos X, the whole square, and this is nothing but 1. So accordingly, we have the first identity as sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Okay, sine square x plus cos square x is 1. This is the uh, first over here. Now, the second one will be, we are having this particular thing. So, okay, this is the first one. Now we move on to the next part and that is you are now going to divide all of them by the BC. Okay, so we are going to have over here tha. Now you are going to divide everything by BC. So this is BC square, BC square, BC square. So now what is AB upon BC? AB upon BC ke? This is tan. So this is tan x the whole square plus bc upon bc is 1 and this is ac upon b ac upon bc now ac upon bc is automatically going to be what adjust opposite by adjacent yani cos ka ult reciprocal yani sec ho gaya so this is sec, sec x the whole square so accordingly we have over here the 10 square x plus 1 is equal to sec square x or we can have over here as uh, sec square x or we just identify one of the form that 6 square x is equal to 1 plus 10 square x or we can change go on juggling around so we can have 6 square x minus 10 square x is equal to 1 okay or 6 square x minus 1 is equal to 10 square x all could be the possibility so this is the first one this is the second one this combined thing is the second one the next one will be of course the last one that is AB square. Yani abhi kya karenge? Ab log tino ko AB se divide karenge. So we will be having AB square, AB square, AB square. This becomes 1. <coughs> this will be BC upon A, BC upon AB. Yani kya ho gaya? Cot ho gaya. So this cot square X or cot X the whole square is equal to AC upon AB that is opposite of sine. Or reciprocal of sine on a cosec x the whole square. So accordingly, we have over here the third point as cosec square x is equal to 1 plus cot square x, or we have cosec square x minus cot square x is equal to 1. So these are the three uh, very important kind of square relationships between sine, cos, and ten. So that is the main part over here. So this was about the explanation of the trigonometric ratios. We'll take up the sums of trigonometry in the next video.